Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Agrarian Skies 2. And in today's episode, we're going to be doing something we've been neglecting for a while, and that is taking a look at the quest book. So, we've got a few quests we can take on. We've got Rakes, which I already did, and I'm going to take that reward bag. We've got this one, and I need the agricultural journal for that. Now, to make that, I need a book and quill which requires some sort of black ink. And that is a little bit of a problem for me, um, but that's gonna lead us into something that I probably should have done a while ago. So, let's go into this one and look at some other options. I am really tired of chopping down trees. So, we're gonna go here to the stone chopper and make one of those. Let's see what we need. Stone chopper. Here we go. And that is part of progressive automation. I need a stone axe, I need a furnace, and I need some smooth stone. Okay, all of that should be pretty easy. Let's grab, oh, oh here we go. Let's make a furnace. Let's make a stone axe. And that, sh oh, that's the wrong one. Uh, okay, maybe it doesn't work for some reason? I don't know. That's a little goofy. There we go, stone axe. And we'll claim the reward. And now, if I give that thing saplings and some coal, and I place it next to this tree, uh, oh, it does need some sort of tinker's tool, though. Um, that's okay. Here's what we'll do. We'll come down here, and I will make a... Let's make an iron one. Let's just make an iron axe. And... We'll put... Let's see what we need for this. We'll need two iron ingots, I believe. We can put this in here, and we need... Oh, we actually need to make an axe. Uh, we need to make the, the cast for it. So let's put that aluminum brass in there, too. And maybe we'll throw in a little bit of gold, too, just in case I want to make some more casts later. And it looks like we are running dangerously low on lava in our smeltery. So we will come over to the crucible and fill it up. Because I've got plenty of lava chilling over there. Then just to make sure that we have plenty of lava going forward, I'll refill that. And we'll do the same with that one. So those will go back to smelting lava. And we'll put that in there. Okay, that should be good. So now, aluminum brass first. And I think if I was wise, I would first make a stone axe head, and you know what, let's go ahead and make a stone shovel head too. We'll make both of the needed parts. Uh, I don't actually need the shovel head at the moment, but I will. Okay, so that's set right. There we go. So we've got that, and then we'll make another one. Okay, so two new casts. Good, good, good. Next, we'll put the axe head in there. Make sure this is on iron, and it is. We'll grab that stuff. And then I need the tool rod, which we will also make out of iron. And there we go. We have an iron. Uh, we have all the necessary parts for an iron axe. Where is my tool station? Here we go. There we go. So, iron hatchet. And I will put that in here. Like that. Tool level too high. What? Okay. Change of plans. We'll put a flint axe in there, I guess. I'm kind of surprised that that doesn't work, but whatever. Uh, let's go here and there. And I guess we'll just make 
a real basic flint axe like this. The most basic one you can. Now don't tell me that that's too high. There we go. And we'll put our saplings in here. There we go. And this should now be chopping down this tree. And it will spit stuff out. I don't want oak wood. No, I want coal. There we go. I want to keep the wood. All right, so that's going to chop down the tree for us. And then it will plant a new one in its place in just a moment, which is pretty cool. So we got that going for us. Now, the next thing that I want to do is I want to... Oh, actually, let me unload some stuff here. I've got... I really need to organize some stuff. My, um, my chests are just a disaster right now. And everything is broken. And it's not good. We do have a reward bag, though. So let's check that out. And we got a fishing rod. Okay. Well, didn't really need the fishing rod. I mean, it's the fishing rod from Mine Factory Reloaded, so maybe it's a little better than the standard vanilla one, but eh. Okay. So we got that done. Let's see. What else can we take on in the quest book? Auto mining, I don't really need. Water from air. Um, That would get us a reward bag. That might be something we'll look into in a little bit. Here we've got storage stuff. Assembly line, thermal transport. There's a bunch of stuff here that I don't really need. Oh, we can do this. Hello, reward bag. Ooh, and we got an egg to spawn two blizzes. Hmm, okay. What do we get here? Lettuce, soybean, and spinach. Okay, so some basic Pam's Harvest Craft seeds. Eh. I suppose it could be worse. I'll take it. But you'll notice that this now went ahead and placed a new sapling, and it grabbed the oak wood and all that good stuff for us. Now, it's not actually using up the coal, which is good, because I don't want it to right now. It will only use the coal when it's actually chopping stuff. So that is good. That is good. I didn't know. I've actually never really delved into progressive automation before. Um, do I not have any free chest space? There we go. Okay. Now, as I was saying, to continue with the farming quest, we need ink sacks, or some sort of black dye, basically. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go vanilla here, and we're going to make a little squid farm. Shouldn't be anything super complicated. It doesn't need to be. But we do need to make sure that it is far enough away from here. Let's also sleep. And that way we don't get attacked by stuff while we're building this. So I'm going to build the squid farm, I think, off in this direction. Let's just go very carefully. Like this. There we go. And ooh, we should probably check our Y level. We are at 54, and if I remember correctly, squid spawn between, um, what is it? I think it's below Y level 61 or something like that? I don't know. I'm just going to go this way for a while. We'll go, like, maybe 32 blocks. That should be plenty. Because I need to be, I believe it is, 26 blocks away for squid to spawn. So, this should be far enough. Let's go ahead and start laying out a little platform here. Go one, two, three, four, five. That should be fine. And one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then we'll build... Let's see, maybe these seven? So five, six, seven. And then like so. And all the way back around. Is that right? Yep, right there. Okay, cool. There we go. So we've got a little platform here. And this is where we will make our squid farm. 
So let's fill this in like so. There we go. And now we need to set up the area where this is going to be. So I'm thinking we'll go like here. That's probably way bigger than it actually needs to be. Let's go maybe there instead. Do I have my other pick on me? No, I don't. I guess we'll use this one. This thing lines really slow, though. I need to get some redstone on it. Okay. So right about there looks good. And then we'll take our slabs and drop them down like that. Okay, I'm just going to put one here so I can get up. And now we need to get this built up probably, oh, I'm thinking maybe four high. That should do, well, let's see, we're going to have, yeah, yeah, let's, actually, let's go up a little more than that even. Let's maybe go up like five high. It's not like we're lacking the cobblestone. So what are we at now for a Y level? 60? Okay, and we'll go to 61, I think. Right about there. And that should be good. So now I want this to come over like so. And then let's just work our way down. There we go. And that's all good. That's going to knock a hole in the floor, but that's fine. And I'll need to fill in this. I'll need to widen this platform a little bit, but we'll do that in a minute. So that's all good. Now I want some ladders. That should be enough of them. And then here's the hard part that I don't know if I'm going to have enough materials for. I think I will. I think I'll be all right. Okay, cool. So let's make some sticks. And now we need to make a whole bunch of signs. And I'm going to need water as well. You can go away. F3 screen. And right here, I'm going to put ladders going up to the top. That way I can get back up there. Let's go ahead and combine those together so we can... Oh, can I reach that? There we go. Let's just fill this in to about... Yeah, right about there. That should do. And that will give us four blocks of space. So yeah, this should work. Okay. And we're just going to put down the signs. Like this. And those are just going to go all the way across like so and fill up all the blocks. Good, good, good. Now, um, let's just for decoration's sake, let's put some slabs there. And now when I head up here and start filling this in, I should... Not see any water right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. Okay. So, I'm going to get that all filled in, guys, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I am back, and I've got the whole thing all filled in with water. So, we should now see squid spawning in here pretty quick. Um, I am going to go ahead and slab this top part. Just to keep nasty things from spawning up here. But... If I head off and leave them alone, we should start seeing squids spawning and basically flowing down and into the little kill area right there. So, oh, look at that. 
That didn't take long at all. And this is actually an ocean biome right here. If we check, you can see we got an ocean biome, which is a little weird. But then we can kill the squids and get the stuff that we need. Ink sacks. So now we should be able to make that book. Let's go ahead and check that out. Um, is it sleep time yet? It is sleep time. Excellent. Okay. So, that book. Let's go back to Agricraft. So we need a book and quill. I do happen to have one feather somewhere. There it is. Ooh, but I don't have any leather. Hmm. That could be problematic. Oh, but I can make... Ooh, okay. So I will need some paper. So maybe I'll get a sugarcane farm going. Uh, we do have sugarcane seeds. Oh, why did I... That was stupid of me. Yeah, why don't I get a sugarcane farm going over here, guys? I'll get all the stuff that I need to make this. And then I'll be right back with you. All right, guys, I am back. And I think I have everything I need to make this book. So, string, blank patterns. There we go. We got a book. And where did I put that ink sack? I know I had one. Um. Ah, there they are. I was hiding. Okay. So, we do that, that gets us our book and quill, and now we should be able to make this. We need a few different seeds, we need crop sticks. Uh, let's see what we have for extra seeds, just kind of hiding out in here, anything? That'll do, we'll just use plain old regular seeds. And book and quill. Regular seeds, and crop sticks. There we go. We now have the agricultural journal. So if we go back to Sky Farm, we can claim that, and that will get us a reward bag and some podzel, which is kind of nice. What'd we get? Aluminum orberry bush. Eh. Okay. I'll deal. I guess it's fine. I can live with that. Um, I am badly in need of more stuff. I, oh, man. This... I need to get organized. Um, that's gonna be my... my goal, I think, between episodes, is to get some organization going here, because right now, there really is, like, none whatsoever. It's terrible. Uh, okay. So, let's see what else we have. We've got basic planting. So, this thing would plant for me. I don't really need that. Then we got some chef stuff over there, which I'm not really worried about. Tinker's Toys. Hello, copper. I'll take you. Free stuff is always good. Ooh, slime balls. Actually, that's one that I can do right now. Just by going like that. Hello, and that gets me slime bricks, which are kind of cool looking. But I think that's good. So we've got our planter going. How much wood have you gathered? Eh, not a huge amount. Still waiting on this tree to grow. But all in all, we're making progress. And we did get a squid farm going. So that's a good thing, at least. We know that the squid farm works because it's already given us some squid. Oh, wow, look at all that ink already. That's the thing. They just fall, and then they die. Because they suffocate since they're out of air. So, you know, the other thing we could maybe look at doing is a little bit of decorative stuff. Let's just take a look at extra utilities. Actually, let's do this. If we look at cobblestone, there's all these colored variations. So if I make a paintbrush, which is like this, there we go. And then we take some cobble. I just saw cobble two seconds ago. Aha! There we go. And then we take some cobble like this. We should be able to make black cobble. 
And that, we maybe we can use this to kind of spruce up our base a little bit. How's that look? Oh, it looks like black cobble. Exactly like I would expect it to, to be fair. But maybe we can use this to kind of add some stuff to our base. Because right now the base looks pretty blah. Um, so maybe going forward, we can mix in some other colors. Especially now that we got that squid farm. That'll provide us with, well, all the ink sacks we need and then some. I mean, look at this. This is, this is ten minutes and I've already gotten over a stack of ink sacks. So that's going pretty well. All in all, I think this is going well. We got a squid farm going. We got some automation going. Everything is good. But that is all that we have time for in today's episode, guy. Uh, guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll definitely see you next time.